much done today. We're just going to go up and uh, I just I just left the uh, or let the hounds out, and I'm going to go up and see what's in the mailbox. She's a freaking windy one out there, and we're going to put Mum's my cowboy hat on my mum. Put that. Try this darn thing out. Holy man. It's a pretty wild looking hat. Okay, well let's go get it. We got kind of lucky today. Here, I'm going to have to adjust it. This thing's like, got to lean your back some. Oh. Let's go for another walk. I think the wind's going to blow the hat right off. Won't sit on the hair anyway. Oh. Nope, she's going to go. I'll tell you. I can tell you right now. Woohoo! Maybe it won't be so bad if I get. <coughs> I think it's just flyers, is what I'm get, getting. Because this is the second time today I've been up there. I just feel like it should be hanging around in the house all the time. Especially when I got this to cut, but I'm in no rush to do it. Oh, the dog's found something of interest. Look at this. See that big vegetable looking thing there? They're everywhere. All of those vegetable looking things. Bird off. If you don't like your neighbor, go find some bird dog. Throw it in his yard. It'll keep you busy for forever. Now, I wonder how the old Russian sunflower that's what it is. Flyer. A la Lagor. Lagor. There. Test out. Here's the Russian flowers. Sunflowers. Both sides of the driveway. And it should be made so that the. Uh, oh, look at these big plants. We gotta get in here and dig these guys out next. Let's go. Let's go. Screw up the old bunchy underneath there. Well, we'll just go take a look and see what's going on up here. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm seeing, and then maybe you can... See, I can adjust this even some more. Yeah. Oh, that's better. Straight up and down. Okay, so... This is all wild roses around here. Lots of them. What's this funny-looking thing? That's all seeds ready to come down. The people before us, before we moved in, really grew an awful pile of plants. There's more roses here. These are all roses. It's kind of neat. It looks like freaking Rice Krispies. They can hear me, the buggers. What I gotta do, I don't feel like it right now. They hear me. 
I gotta check this first. I wanna scratch up one more row here for corn up here. Oh, there's some stuff there, I don't know what it is. There's the rhubarb there, Alan, right across the, uh, the other side of the fence along the trees there. It used to be the whole thing all the way down to the end here, about th three feet out. And they were all decrepit little plants. They didn't, they weren't very big at all. So we dug out a half a dozen of them and we gave some to some people down the street the McCarthy farm it's kind of like deja vu here isn't it I just wanted to see what's going on now we got some onions going there those are all Sure, we got. We're gonna put some peas in here maybe tomorrow. There's not a lot of space or room around in here. Maybe a little over here and up along here. Oh, that should be enough right there. Just want to check it out, but I'm more interested in going over and seeing what's going on with my potatoes. There's the boys. Let me see here. We got to make an adjustment to the gate here too. Doesn't want a lot right. I think what I got to do is dig it in here, set it in a little bit more, because it's on a bit of an angle. Which means I got to bring a chisel up here. There they are. It's beautiful out. There's no bugs. Not yet. This is going well. We just need more rain. Look at that. Last year we had four rows in here. Just this row here. It's a little light. This is the Superior. Kennebec and the Pontiac. And I had four rows in here last year. And this whole garden in here, in about, oh, I don't know, see the, sometime in July, it, you couldn't even see the ground anymore. I just hope I didn't bury the darn things too deep. And my wife insisted that the potatoes wouldn't grow if I just threw them into the ground just like that, without cutting them up. These ones here were all cut. There's more down here, though. I got to get in here with a rake and start raking out these rocks. The freaking things. Can't grow potato in a rock. But the potatoes grew in here last year. Just 
just like crazy. What do we got here? Ah. There's a potato right there. Imagine that. Not too worried about it. Right up to there. And we got a couple of stragglers here. Another one there. This here is the blackberry patch. I had the guy come down here a few years back because this was solid. And he cut a trail through there. And then I got the bright idea in the spring. I drove the mower up through there. And I think a pair of those pruning shears or whatever you call them. Same here. Go all the way around. Just so that we get the some control over it so we can look at that. Some daisies. I'm gonna get rid of some of these stuff now. Friggin' flies. We can hit that with the mower later. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But then. And what I'm waiting for is I've got to hill these. Which is, these ones I could. Just want to wait another <coughs> a day or two. Get this one started healing. And then I'm going to take all this sawdust after I've held it and uh, put it down on the ground to suppress the weeds. Try to cover the whole patch with it. I don't know if I've got enough left. That Oh, that bug down my throat. And we've got raspberries everywhere. Oh, look at that. Big mountain man. In the shadow. Oh, and right here, i got to put uh, <coughs> more sawdust down in the front. Where I'm not going to hit it with the mower. Oh, well. <coughs> Jeez. Oh, that's beautiful. Here, I'll take you down through a place there. <coughs> I didn't use the mow in here. <coughs> Sorry. Bugs get you quick, man. We'll go down through my shortcut here. <coughs> Hang on. Can't miss an opportunity to do that. A little tight, harder ground here. They're not coming out. I'll have to get the. There it is. Get the tiller on this bugger. And. This here wheat is a, I think it's edible. 
I'm not sure if it's that pineapple thing or it smells like, tastes like pineapple. Plantain or something. There we go. Mushrooms. Yeah. There we go. Oh. I'm not too concerned. Because <laughs> I'll be. I want to widen this here just a little more. And that should be good for three rows from here on in. Let's go down through the shortcut here. The grasses. It's getting a little better. Young feller bored his dad's uh, handheld bush hog for me when we hired him to do a bunch of work up here, him and his buddy. And uh, he tore it through. He walked it in through here, cleaned it up, and ever since then I've been I've managed to mow it. I got to come in here and <coughs> again. And mow it up, but there, this works better than the head frigging gizmo. But look at the, uh, even though I hit it with the mower, right under there, that's where my buddy's uh, memorial trees are. There's ten of them along here. This one's just buried right in the rhubarb. But uh, once the bugs die down, I'll get in here and I'll start processing this stuff all up. I got a fun thing to do here coming up. I got that ax fixed finally, the Pulaski or a fireman's axe and I can use it to get rid of a bunch of uh, roots that are snipped up there. Now some of this wood is pretty freaking big but it's all split once the bigger stuff is and some of it's uh, birch down here but most of it's poplar and this is going to go into the uh, woodshed I might split it again but look at how nicely cracked it is if this is last year's that's a big crack right there that's as big as a pencil so what we'll do is we'll load this into the wagon drive through this gate into the front of the woodshed have to go around the bird feeder might move that or modify it somehow see the grass isn't growing too good here yet that's okay so we'll clean that up that looks like it's ready to fall what I've got to do is I got to get in here take the skirting off of it all the way around and level it proper Yes, I do. And this is kind of like a bowl here. Although you, it's hard to tell in camera. So the only seating area is more or less over that way. And a little here, but 
what I had done to get rid of the water that was laying up in the front of the house there on the driveway is I got them to slope it down through here and through here and right out here that's where the uh, Oh, French drain comes out of the side of the hill here on the side of this bank here. This is quite a bank, actually. Something's been laying there. Laying the grass all down. And this, I'd like to clean this up. So they get, because it's a little difficulty with the mower in there. There's a large lump right here. And again, I do have that axe for that. Oh, there's the little guy. Hey, bear. What do you say, bear? Where's your brothers? Huh? Yeah, I gotta find a place where I can get those sidewalk kind of stones. What the hell was that noise? Did you make that noise? So, that's what we got planned here. I gotta do the one row, the piece. She's got some freaking other things to plant, but. That won't take long. And I do have some wood here. What I was thinking of, I was... Right in here, make a simple stand to put that barrel in. So it's got a little bit of a railing around it. Then I don't, that's a little bit of space I can have in the garage. So, that'd be that. You can see the color of the lilac way up there, beautiful. It's the same color as this one. What I like about the summer here, might as well take you a little more for a peek. Here's a mistake I made. Came up here with a roll of till tiller up on both sides of the driveway. And it didn't work out like I was thinking it would. And get rid of a lot of that grass. I don't know what the hell this thing is, but this is beautiful. Uh, big giant friggin' honeybee. That's good. I have to ask my son what tree that is. But that's our septic field. It's pretty small in comparison to a lot of places. And I'm standing, there's the, we had to find the darn thing. It was buried and there was no lid on it or anything. So we had to have a little mini excavator in here to fish it out. And that apple doesn't produce any apples either. It's but uh, my son was coming out last weekend. I'm not sure where he, where he went, but what happened, but Maybe this weekend. And uh, this is somewhere underneath there. We sometimes have these great big freaking garter snakes. And they come along in here. And I catch them up at the front of the house here. I get a, you see this? I, after I rototilled it, a little bit. I didn't 
just kind of banged it. I wanted to, you know, tr have a nice driveway without a bunch of uh, weeds in it. And I don't really like the idea of putting that uh, 2 4 d down or whatever else they call that kind of stuff. Because uh, I'm really anti-glyphosate. Because it uh, doesn't really help the planet much, does it? Spraying that crap everywhere. So anyway, that's a little walk around. Just kind of chilling here. My sister-in-law made these wind charms. I think they're sea glass and seashells. Look at that little piece of coral there. Uh-huh. Ah. Okay. Thanks for coming. We'll see you soon. Maybe later today or maybe tomorrow. Soon. Y'all have a great day. That's all, folks.